Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am here in London and I've been here for about a month now and as you may have noticed from my previous videos, I brought a very small travel capsule wardrobe for about a month long trip initially and I am staying here longer and also it's got it got much cooler and so for today's video i wanted to show you some of the new pieces i've added to my wardrobe recently and also talk you through how i plan for autumn and winter and most of the pieces are from Cezanne, which is a brand that i've just been really loving lately everything that i've tried from them the quality is amazing and they have really classic and timeless styles so i'm just really enjoying this brand at the moment so I am going to show you four pieces from Cezanne and then one other piece that I picked up a little while back that you might have seen in one of my previous videos. So the first piece I want to talk about is the wand tank top from Cezanne, which you can't really tell when I'm holding it up, but it actually has this really beautiful like soft square neckline. I think it's very flattering and I also just love any type of tank top that has wider straps. This is sort of like a racer back style. I did have another tank top from Cezanne that was a really similar style except it came up really high and was a crew neck. I actually had to get rid of that because it got really stained because I was wearing it so often. So this time I went for a solid black color instead and it is just like a really simple ribbed jersey material. Really comfortable and a great fit. On this one I went with a size medium, which is my typical size. And I think I've mentioned this in previous videos, but I really like the wardrobe basics that Cezanne does. I think they're really high quality and compared to other like sustainable brands, I think that the price point is not that far off really. So if you're looking to, you know, get a really high quality t-shirt that you know will last through lots of washes and wear and tear, um, I think Cezanne is a great place to start and it's a bit more accessible internationally I would say and I think that the brand itself is more known for like their knitwear and their outerwear and stuff but yeah I have found a lot of luck with their just like basic wardrobe staples. The next piece I want to talk about is this off-white crew neck t-shirt from Cezanne. I believe this is called the Martha t-shirt. I again went with a size medium and this I absolutely adore because of the one, the color. I'm a big fan of this off-white, but it does come in several other really beautiful colors. It's a little bit see-through, it has lots of nice texture to it, and then the sleeve length for me is why I actually ordered it in the first place. It has quite a long short sleeve, so it comes down pretty far on the arm, which in my opinion is more of like a vintage style or a slightly oversized style t-shirt that I really love and look for. I like material that drapes really well and that's very soft and kind of lived in feeling. So yeah, this is one of my favorite pieces from them actually. It's so funny because it's just like a basic, but again, like Cezanne does really great wardrobe basics. So yeah, that's not something I would typically go to that brand for, but after trying this and the couple of tank tops that I've had from them, I'm just a big fan of that now. And I picked this up because um, I just needed like a really good basic t-shirt. I was kind of lacking that um, and a lighter colored one and I tend to go for more of an off-white color because I think it just suits me better than the stark white and yeah really happy with this. Next up I want to talk about Cezanne's knitwear which in my opinion is probably the best type of piece that they do. Maybe outerwear too. They have some really great styles though. They always have such a variety of knitwear styles too. So cardigans, pullover sweaters, and they're just all really wonderful, like quality wise and then design wise. Also kind of like new, interesting interpretations of really classic French styles. And this is one piece that I ordered because I loved the color, loved the shape of it. And when I got it, I was even more <laughs> impressed, honestly, because of the material. It's really, really soft. So this is the Louise jumper. Um, and it's just a really basic like crew neck sweater. So it's a merino wool and mohair blend with also like a synthetic polyamide material on it. And then it has these really beautiful balloon sleeves. I love the shape of the sleeve and then this really cute um, button detail. Because I'm not typically a fan of like flashy buttons and details like that, but actually because the rest of the knit is just so simple, it's kind of nice to have this little detail that dresses it up a bit. Ugh, I adore this piece so much and since I got it I've been wearing it so often, I'm trying not to, but I really like pairing this with like off-white denim. I think it really looks lovely with that. It's a nice um, navy blue if you can't tell. 
Um, often when I go for natural like mohair, it can be a bit itchy, but this one is just incredibly soft, like even softer than any of the cashmere pieces that I've tried. And it's a bit like fuzzier too, which I really enjoy. And it's just like the coziest, warmest piece ever. And was something that I was really lacking in my wardrobe was just like a nice cozy knit like this. It has a pretty relaxed style to it. I got a size medium and it fits pretty true to size. I know I'm going to get a ton of wear out of this because this is like the exact kind of knit I need right now in this weather. Something that just really keeps me warm and cozy and insulated. <laughs> And the last Cezanne piece I want to talk about is outerwear, which as I mentioned previously, I think that Cezanne does the best knitwear and outerwear. Um, for example, the classic trench coat that they do is one of my favorite pieces of theirs. And then there's this one as well, which is very hard to see when I'm just holding it up because it just looks like a big blob. Let me put it on a hanger so you can see it a little better. Here we are. This is the Leo coat which is a short coat and I would say it's kind of like a fisherman style coat. I don't know exactly what you would call this style, but it does have a really high collar and this little piece that goes over the front. And then the material of it is kind of this, I want to say it's like a boucle type material. So it's quite fuzzy and textured and then it has these really cute large pocket details on the front that like flap up but then there's pockets on the side too and these really cute big buttons that are plastic so I'm not the biggest fan of them but I like that they just kind of blend in with the coat. So this has a very large oversized boxy fit to it and I would probably recommend going with either your normal size or even sizing down too. This one, I actually under the size 38 when I probably should have sized down one. Yeah, otherwise I'm a very big fan of this. Um, I really like that it's in this really classic kind of menswear inspired style and yeah, it feels very cute and feminine and just like the perfect coat for this time of season because it is a shorter coat too so it's not super long and heavy like more of a winter coat would be. And Cezanne does have a really nice longer more tailored coat that's um, maybe hits round like thigh length so if you're looking for something a bit more dressy maybe that would be a better option but otherwise I would say this is a really great all around coat for autumn and winter. And the last thing that I wanted to mention are these jeans. These are from a sustainable, I believe it's a German based brand called um, Armed Angels. And this is a brand that's sort of been on my radar for a while and I've never actually seen the jeans in person to try them on. So I was really happy when I found them at a local boutique here in Hackney and got to try them out and I'm very very impressed with these because I think it's quite difficult to find um, ethically made denim at a reasonable price point and Armed Angels is a brand that is very accessible in that way and they have like a pretty wide variety of styles too so this is from their detox denim line these are the Anique or Anike jeans which are a loose fitting style of jean I wanted something just really wide and loose all the way down and that is definitely how these are yeah I'm a big fan of these they're also nice and high-waisted and I think these come in a few different colorways too yeah but it's quite a sturdy denim so it reminds me a lot of like you know vintage Levi's there's not a lot of stretch in them which is something that I tend to look for in denim I like quite a sturdy more like workwear inspired type of denim I do think these also run a bit large too because I have a size 25 and I usually wear like a 26 or 27 so that's something to keep in mind if you are ordering them online or better yet if you can just try them on in person that's probably the best way to go very happy with these I included them in my Parisian style 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe so I've got a lot of use out of them recently and um, I'm still trying to kind of figure out how to style wide leg denim in a way that feels like it's in line with my personal style because I tend to wear slightly larger more oversized things on the top too which I think doesn't always quite suit a wider bottom too so yeah my one piece of styling advice would probably be to go for something more fitted on the top with these so like a smaller t-shirt or something and then do a wide leg on the bottom just to balance out the proportions and that is all of the new pieces in my wardrobe at the moment. There are a couple more things that I'm going to share with you in a later video. Um, but yeah, 
I'm really enjoying preparing my wardrobe for autumn and winter. I feel like this is the first time I've been in a climate that is like very suited for um, fall fashion. And yeah, I'm just able to like wear really heavy mitts and jackets and coats and boots here um, so early on in the year, which I am really enjoying actually. <laughs> Because that has not been the case living in Southern California or even really in the Southeast um, US. So yeah, very much enjoying autumnal weather here in London. And I did want to briefly talk about sort of how I plan for my autumn winter wardrobe. So I like to start out with gathering inspiration. Um, typically I do this through Instagram or Pinterest. So I have a Pinterest sort of mood board for each season for my capsule wardrobe, which I kind of continuously add to every year. So I can, I like to do that because then I can see the inspiration and how it sort of changed throughout the years and how my capsule has evolved each season throughout the years rather than making a new mood board for each year or for each season, if that makes sense. Um, I also really like to just like save pictures on Instagram to refer to later. Typically I'll do this if I really like how somebody styled a piece that I have in my wardrobe. So if someone I see on my feed is wearing like a pair of straight leg white jeans with black boots, I have, when I see it I make a mental note of it like, oh I have those two pieces in my wardrobe and I have not thought to style them in that way. So I'll save that and refer back to that when I need some outfit inspiration. Um, and then I like to also kind of compile a loose sort of shopping list for myself if there are pieces that I really need in my wardrobe. This is not something that I do every season though because I think that my wardrobe has kind of got to a place where I don't really need to shop each season, um, which is a really good feeling and it's something that, you know, gradually I have to replace pieces so it's not like a permanent thing. But um, more recently, yeah, I've not really made a point of like shopping each season. I just don't think it's necessary. Um, but if I am looking for something specific, I'll have it on my shopping wish list and sort of refer back to that for, um, you know, a few weeks or a few months and shop around. I think that for me, shopping from slowly like ethical and sustainable brands really slows down that entire process because I can't just pop on ASOS and find, you know, the trendy version of what I'm looking for. Sometimes it takes a bit longer if I'm looking for a really specific style. So that's actually helpful too, kind of slows down the whole shopping process and also ensures that I'm buying things that are more timeless or classic and less trendy because then I know that they'll stay in my wardrobe for longer and I won't get sick of them this time next year. Also with each purchase I make, I do like to give myself a little buffer period to really think through why I'm buying it. So depending on the price point and the type of item, I might give myself a few days once I find something that I think is that piece or maybe even a few weeks or even a month or so. It just depends. Something like a classic piece of outerwear that I know I'm going to want to have in my wardrobe for a long time is something that I'll give myself a longer period of time to kind of mull over in my mind to make sure that I am buying the right piece. And obviously there's no like perfect piece. I think we um, hear a lot about like looking for this perfect piece to add to our wardrobe, but naturally our style changes over time too. So I think it's better to just shop for things that you feel you'll be able to wear more long-term. That's the goal, right? Yeah, that is generally speaking how I sort of plan for my autumn winter wardrobe. I went a lot more into detail in this on my um, monthly newsletter for the month of October. So if you're interested in checking that out, I do have more like exclusive written content that I don't have anywhere else. I am going to be linking all of the pieces that I featured today in the description box below along with anything else that I styled them with. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. And thank you all so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you in the next one.